the reason we took on this project in the first place was because this portion of the river was straightened back in the 70s. So it used to actually meander, turn this corner out of the forest and then came straight to the base of that slope and then went out all the way to the pond and back. Oh yeah. And rivers naturally do the yeah. meandering course and it's helpful for fish habitat to have a slower pace to the river. Yeah. So the idea was to not restore it to its complete natural meander, but mm -hmm. to restore some more complexity to the stretch. Yeah. Logs are placed at an angle. So it's the going that flow, way. Um, it's yeah. redirected towards the bank and then yeah. it encourages erosion of the bank and yeah. encourages more of a curve. Right now, I mean, even before we did the project, this section of the river is a really important spawning habitat and really quite yeah. productive. Oh, wow. Um, before we did the restoration, so we we thought it through, you know, is it actually worth it to mess around with the banks if the salmon are already spawning here? Mm -hmm. You know, the gravels are beautiful and yeah. um, it's doing okay. But we argued that there's value in, because it's such a public project, yes. so it, the, yeah. the education value is really, yeah. Yeah, really yeah. key. And you were saying they, the gravel is good? What do they look for to spawn? They need a they certain... They need gravels like this to, to lay their eggs so they yeah. can maneuver it with their tails and, yeah. and dig. So you don't want big, hole. big, huge boulders. Yeah, you want some smaller, mm -hmm. smaller gravel. They spawn usually in, in uh, riffles where water is actually moving faster, so mm -hmm. there's oxygen. Mm -hmm. Um, constant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.